Greetings, greetings once again from the Church of God and God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the Church of Jesus Christ. Amen. Church of God, the body of Christ, whatever you want to call it, as long as it is in the scripture. Amen. And you see the situation from the video there, toilet paper gone in the stores. People in a panic from the pandemic. Amen. But nevertheless, we will dwell in the secret place of the Most High to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You got to have a prayer life in these times. Amen. To find that secret place and pray to the Spirit. Pray to God the Father through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Too many people in the world today denying the Son of God. Amen. And let me pick up for the sake of time. And as you can see from the video, I had to see for myself. Amen. But nevertheless, plagues and pandemics all throughout the Bible, it has to do with people's disobedience to the Most High God. Today they're denying His Son. And they're even doing it with Jesus on their lips, claiming to be Christian, but living a sinful lifestyle. We're talking about premeditated sin, willful sin, fornication all over the land in various aspects all of the homosexuality that has even now you have two men being able to get married to one another. So you didn't think America was going to see something. The wrath of God, which is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness. You didn't think so. The Bible says God is not mocked. Man shall reap what he has sown and America has sown. They have not been a good example. They have sown uh, foolishness. Uh, immorality. Amen. And it's evident. Amen. So nevertheless, Psalm 78 and at 45, he sent divers sort of flies among them, which devoured them and frogs, which destroyed them. You know about the plagues, even going back to the book of Exodus and Moses, the meteor at, at, at that time. Amen. That God sent forth these plagues, the frogs coming all up into their homes, the flies. Let me start right there. And the magicians of Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, did the same thing. See, they had that power, but not the same power. They had power from the adversary, from the devil. But as you know, the Most High have way more power, of course, because the devil is created. Amen. And we know that by when Moses Aaron. threw his rod down and became a serpent. And the magicians did the same thing. But Aaron's rod line, swallowed up their rods. Up. Amen. Showing that the power of God is over the power of Satan. Amen. But nevertheless, just know this. The magicians allow and were able to, uh, you know, have the frogs come up on the land. Just, just like Moses and various other things they did. Amen. So it shows you today that scientists create pestilence. Just like God sent a pestilence and a plague, scientists do the same thing. My goodness, they called them magicians back then. Now they're sorcerers and even these mad scientists today. Amen. But nevertheless, however the plague came on the land, we know who's in control. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and their labor unto the locust. You see that destruction in the Middle East and Africa. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. All kind of plagues. All kind of destruction comes when you play with God. Our God is a consuming fire, y'all. He gave up their cattle also to the hail and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble. By sending evil angels, angels angels among them. And remember the destroying angel. And the only thing that could protect you from that was the blood of the lamb. Today, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is applied to your life by way of recognizing the baptism. That represent the death, the burial and the resurrection of the son of God. Amen. To get that applied to your life and it needs to be preached Joe Osteen is not preaching this. That's why we're in this situation. If you want to blame somebody, blame the Joe Osteens, these coward uh, uh, preachers wearing a gold cross around your neck like you're doing something. 
these uh, jelly belly so-called Christians. Amen. Blame them. We're not talking about the real Christians. Amen. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence. All throughout the Bible, even when David uh, numbered Israel. Amen. After a while, he was given a choice for the judgment to come and what it should be. And, and it was the pestilence. And so many died. Thousands died. Amen. Has to do with disobedience. Amen. The answer is the word of God. We need to be praying, of course, but let's have the true prayer leaders who are living a holy life, trying their best. Amen. Who believe in the son of God, the gospel, who've been water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Call on these people. Don't call on the T.D. Jakes. Amen. Don't call on these cowards. Look, it, look, t it's time out to be walking on eggshells. Amen. Wherever I go, I'm going to stir somebody up. And it has to be done, y'all. Look, look, look what time it is. Uh, COVID-19. Corona. Amen. Let's pick up again. Because it gets a whole lot worse, y'all. If you understand the seven last plagues in the book of Revelation. Amen. And what's coming upon Babylon and the Babylonian system. Amen. Let's pick up in Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall a plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. Amen. So this wicked Babylonian system that went on from Babylon to Rome, to, to the Greek Empire, to Rome, to, to America. Amen. It's still a very much in force. Amen. But nevertheless, we do thank God. For his word. The word was the made word became flesh. flesh and dwelt among us. That was the son of God. Amen. Come on back to him. Quickly. Amen. For the sake of time, let's pick up in James. Amen. James 5. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. All these rich trying to live extravagant lifestyles with your fancy cars. God is not impressed. I'm going to tell you that now. My channel icon, that old bucket. Is there for a reason to show humility. If I pull up in a Pinto, amen. If I pull up in a Pacer, amen. If I pull up on a 10 speed, amen. And still have favor with God. I'm doing a whole lot more than you with your helicopters and your uh, fancy cars and your fancy clothes, amen. It's time out for games. Can't sugarcoat nothing. I'm calling you out. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are my feet and your gold and Silver is canker, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Amen. The workers, man. The workers. I represent the workers. We work hard out here. Amen. They hold back uh, uh, what should be paid to us. Amen. By fraud. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cry and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. That means the Lord of the armies of Israel. Amen. God is not pleased. And you see what's happening. It's happening. Why? Why? Look, same sex marriage. Amen. Abortion. These things got to come. It's time to get right. Repent and be water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe the gospel. Amen. You see what's going on? And it gets a whole lot worse. But God can repent of his anger if there's enough sincerely praying. Amen. In the spirit. Amen. So nevertheless, uh, you know, everything that, you know, I have preached about Hollywood and these uh, NBA stars and all of this wickedness, they don't know what to do. Some of them is jumping out their window. The rich. Amen. Afraid of the isolation. Amen. You know, but let me tell you something. We know and understand you could be locked up. Amen. And still receive the Holy Ghost. I'm going to give a shout out to them. I want to give a shout out to the hard workers working at these fast food joints. Keep doing what you're doing. But take Jesus Christ with you. In truth. Amen. Let's come on back. Let's hear the poor preachers. Amen. Amen. You look down on them. Now you got to. Do your service on the internet, what you talked about. God is great. Amen. You see what's going on. 
It's time to get right. Minister Kev coming at you again. Be blessed.